the record-breaking storm, the strongest to ever hit the Florida Panhandle. Left at least six dead and hundreds unaccounted for. Hurricane Michael is the strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. since 1969. This shouldn't be about Republicans and Democrats and independents. This is about helping people. And they're not getting the help they deserved here. If you didn't know better, you'd think driving through the community today that the storm hit last week or last month, not last October. These extreme weather incidents are happening everywhere and way too often. And we're not going to forget. We're going to keep fighting for you every single day. We drove on my trailer. Do you own this? Yes. I'll end up having to just abandon this and, uh, and go wherever, like everybody else has had to do. I mean, it's, uh, the die has been cast and it is what it is. And I'll, I'll go from here to, I don't know. What's the most important thing we could do to help you? There is nothing. I'm so disheartened right now, I, I just don't have the heart to mess with it anymore. This has been going on for months and months and months. I am in no different shape than <clears throat> probably thousands of people who have left here who have been forced to leave here. I mean, what the storm didn't get, the bureaucracy got. We have so many people who are in such great need and don't have anywhere to turn. I mean, one of the areas that you went in today near Jason, uh, houses just destroyed. I was devastated, terrified. And the fact that somebody is actually coming to see that we are in great need is we just aren't pawns in this political fight that uh, some people have going on, that we are actually people in need. Unless you see with your own eyes, you just will not believe the devastation that's here. Made landfall just days after the United Nations released a dire report on the impacts of climate change. Oceans are warming, water's warming due to climate change. This warm water contributed to the strength of that hurricane. People will really be relying on anyone who can lend a helping hand because clearly by the looks of it, this community has a long road ahead. We've got to follow the science. We can't deny the science. You know, when something happened, we owned it. We were in charge. We didn't pass the buck and say, oh, it's your fault, it's your fault. We were holding ourselves accountable to get things done. It's time for this president to man up. It's time for this governor to man up. It's time for people in their leadership to get down here and stop doing rallies and start solving problems. Explain to the people here why they delayed getting additional funding. They got no explanation other than their intransigence. We need to make government work and it ain't working right now under the leadership of the folks in charge.